Hey, welcome to another Gourmet Fishing Info Short. I'm your host, David Murray, and on today's short, we're gonna put together and create a key lime pie. Not, but neat thing about it, it is a no-bake, three-ingredient key lime pie, and one of the ingredients is the pie shell. So I tell you what, why don't we take a look exactly how we create a no-bake, I'd say two-ingredient key lime pie. Hey, welcome back. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure you click that little notification bell. I'll give you any updates at any time we upload anything new to the channel. Now, let's get to our three or two ingredient key lime pie. And they're not really key lime pies because we don't really have the key limes. We've got just our regular plain everyday lime. So I guess it's a, a, it's a lime pie. Anyway, anyway, very, very simple. We need a, um, a, a, a store-bought uh, graham cracker crust in the pie tin. You can buy them all day long. We need condensed milk and three limes. That's it. It's that simple. So here we go. I tell you what, I need to move some of this out of the way. I thought I was organized. Kind of, sort of, not really. <laughs> so, okay, we've got one can of our condensed, sweetened condensed milk in our in our um, in our bowl so we're gonna need two cans uh, and I think that's about 28 ounces of sweetened condensed milk so we're gonna get that in here just like so that's almost there we are so we get everything we can out of there okay now put this over here so we have uh, I made a mess again always it seems right here we've got the zest of two limes and do just like that and what i'm using to zest our limes with is one of these little micro planes i love these things and it, it's not that hard to do i'm gonna go from this side i'm gonna take my my micro plane and i'm just gonna pull it across the lime just like so now we don't want to get the uh the white part of of the um of the lime that's called the pit and it's very very bitter you don't want that in there you just gonna it's gonna just have a real off bitter taste uh, so if you're using a standard zester you just got to be careful that you don't get the white part or a grater the same thing uh, like a box grater uh, use the smallest uh, uh, size grate you can but be very careful with that that's why I like the microplane so we're gonna take and just do that very simple so now here we have the juice of three well about two limes there so i'm going to show you what i did here uh we're going to take our lime put it down and we're going to rub our hand i rub it on the palm of our hand back and forth at, with pressure and that's going to that's going to loosen up that pulp now i'm going to come in got it we're going to take one of these little uh juicers just like so and add it in just like that actually that was that was uh the, the juice of of three limes. I just wanted to show you <laughs> how we went about juicing our limes. Now, heck man, that's that's basically it. Now we gotta be careful, we gotta incorporate everything, get a nice smooth consistency. So we're gonna very carefully come in and, I, the, the when I say carefully, because if you start getting in there and just start whisking away, that, that lime juice is gonna sling everywhere because it's, it's kind of sitting on top of the heavy, uh, uh, condensed milk. So we want to just very carefully kind of kind of spin this whisk and slowly incorporate that lime juice and that zest in our milk. As you can see, I just made a little mess. So, so the more it gets combined, it's getting real close. There you go. See how it just kind of just kind of actually gets 
gets all combined in there when you slowly do it. So here we go. And after it's combined, then you can just go ahead and, and just whisk till your heart is content or until your arm gets real tired. <laughs> Whichever one comes first. But there we are. That's that's it. That, that, that literally is it. We are basically done with our pie. So let's come in. And now we're going to add this. Let's see, where did our... Yep, this will work. I don't know where ours went. But our little uh, spatula is going to come in just like so. Get all that good flavor out. Oh yeah, and before you do what I just did, taste it and make sure it's got the enough of the um, lime flavor that you're looking for. And also, these uh, shells can be a little temperamental. Uh, I think I dropped the bag <laughs> on the way home, obviously. So, I'm going to come in and I'm just going to spread, spread this around like so. And that's, look at that, simple, easy, the flavor's there, and it's done. That's it. That's, that, that basically is the pie. Now we are going to cover this, and we're going to put it in the fridge for you know, at least four hours, I'd say, so it can kind of sort of firm itself up. Okay, so let me go ahead and do that. And by the magic of television, we already have us a piece of pie to plate up. So, here we go. Let's tell you what, let's clean up a little bit. Since that mess I made, you go over here. Oh yeah, here we go. We got, got our plate. Now I created a, um, a little uh, lime uh, cream sauce where I used, um, six tablespoons of sour cream, a tablespoon of real heavy whipping cream, three tablespoons of powdered sugar, half of a lime uh, juice, uh, and, and half of the zest of that same lime. And then I added just a, I dipped a toothpick in some of the uh, uh, green uh, food coloring gel, and then just kind of swirled it around and mixed it up. Just gives it a little bit more uh, color. So, what I'm going to do is that just adds a little decoration to the plate. Then we're going to come over with our piece of pie and slowly, I hope, place her down just like that. Yes. Yum, yum, yum. Now I'm going to come back with our, our lime cream sauce. I'm going to come in here. This is actually a leaf of a key lime tree. Yes, yes it is. And then we're gonna come in, we're gonna grab probably a little bit of uh, mint right here and do the same thing like so. And there we go. Oh my, check it out. That's a two ingredient plus the pie shell, no bake key lime cheesecake. It's delicious. Hope you like it. Hope you give it a shot. And, um, you know, let us know how it turns out. And, hey, please, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click that notification bell. If you like the video, click the little thumbs up down below. That does help us out. And please, again, leave, leave comments. And hey, you can check us out on Facebook and also Instagram. Where Instagram, as I said it before, for some odd reason, we had to add two T's to gourmet in our tagline and down below in the description there is a downloadable recipe so until next time god bless and we'll see you then oh hell that thing's been recording the whole time <laughs> what an idiot <laughs> wow oh, that just must be riveting video <laughs> thought i turned it off <laughs> Always something. <laughs>